Hi students, welcome to the science class. In last session, under the chapter of force and pressure, we studied some different types of the forces, isn't it? Some of the contact forces, some of the non-contact forces. Under the contact forces, we studied about the fric frictional force, isn't it? But in today's session, under the chapter of friction, we are going to see what is meant by the friction what why we need the friction in which case we don't need the friction is it possible without the friction we can living or without the friction is it possible to make any works that will be discussed in today's session so when in the last session i discussed about the what is meant by the frictional force it is one of the type of the contact force here what is the frictional force the frictional force it is nothing but the opposite force experienced by a moving body the opposite force experienced by a moving body it is nothing but the frictional force so this now i am going to explain you how the friction will be comes here how we are going to see how we are going to feel the frictional force isn't it so now consider you have to take a one marble here take one marble and you have to you have to take you have to consider two surfaces i am consider one surface here that is made by the tile surface tiles floors and under one surface it is nothing but our normal land you have to consider a uh, two surfaces one surface it is a tile surface that is i am considering as a a the another one surface it is the normal land surface that is considered as a b here okay you have two marbles here imagine that i am having a one marble so i am having one marble you have to now roll that marble on the tiles floor you have to roll that marble on the tiles floor what happens if you are going to roll that marble uh, that marble on the tiles floor it can moves it can moves to the somewhat distance from the starting point and it was it moves somewhat distance and it stops at one instant and you have to measure the distance traveled by the marble in the tiles floor you have to clearly measure the distance traveled by the marble in a floor that is a tiles floor and take that same marble and you have to roll that marble on the land with the same amount of the force which you are going to use in the which which amount of the force you are applied in the case of the tiles same force you should apply to the marble when you are rolling the marble on the land here you have to roll the marble on the land with the same force which you are used in the first case so in this case also the marble moves the in this case also the marble moves and in second case also you have to measure the distance moved by the marble and note down the distance moved by the marble here so one question arises here when you are going to roll the marble on the both two cases it travels somewhat distance but it stops at a one end isn't it it stops at a one end why it stops at a one end so then your question the one the one answer will be come in your mind that is why the marble come why the marble is going to be rest in that position because the energy geared by the marble from you it is decreases isn't it why the energy gained by the marble from you decreases here in last session we discussed that when an object is is starts its moving or if the change in the position of the object it is only due to the force isn't it we discussed in the last session and also we discussed the force will alter the speed of the motion when the when you are rolling a marble it has a some speed but after some times the speed will be decreases here isn't it the speed will be decreases at a one and the marble will be stops if the speed will be decreases in the marble then then there will be a force is present why because the force is only can alter the speed of the motion of a object so when the speed of a marble when you are rolling it will be decreases it feels decreases then there must be a force is present but what that force which force will come in contact or which force will come in act on the speed of the 
marble here but when you are moving the marble you are going to apply the mechanical force that is mechanical force or your muscle force to roll the marble but when the marble starts to move the speed of the marble it is somewhat is there but after some times the speed will be decreases if the speed of the marble will be decreases so is there a somewhat force is present which opposes the speed of the marble isn't it but which what force which force will be act on that marble that is nothing but the frictional force here isn't it and also consider here the distance traveled by the same marble with the same force is a different in a two surfaces isn't it why the distance will be more in the tiles imagine that and you can get the more distance traveled by the mar marble in the tiles only why the marble travels more distance in the tiles and why the marble travels less distance in the land here so first i am going to explain you why the marble changes its speed or why the speed of the marble will be decreases due to the friction only the frictional force experienced by the marble from the tiles floor or the from the land that decreases the speed of the motion of the marble here and therefore that will becomes to rest at the one end is it clear therefore the marble will be stops at the one end so what is meant by the friction friction it is nothing but the opposite force what happen here when the marble gets rolling when the marble gets moves here it will be it will experience an opposite force from the land isn't it it experience an opposite force from the land that opposite force the opposite force experienced by a moving body opposite force experienced by a moving body it is known as a friction why the friction will be happens here the one question arises in your mind why the friction the why the friction force come into come in play in all the moving conditions why because when you are going to see the surface of any object when you are going to see the surface of any object it looks like uh, very smooth but if you are going to look the surface of any object with the microscope you can see the zigzag positions are present a large number of zigzag positions are present if you are going to see any surfaces you can see the zigzag surfaces like see here you can see if you are going to see i am taking one surface here if i am taking only the surface of the board the surface of the board it is looks like very smoother isn't it but even though it is look like a smoother you if you are going to see the surface of the board black board in a microscope the surface of the board will be look like this uneven uneven structure is present on the surface of the tech board that's like the uneven surfaces are present in all the bodies all the bodies which we are going to utilize here all the even you can take a marble you can take a tire you can take a, any material it doesn't has a smooth surface it has a somewhat zigzag surface what happens here when another one under one object come in contact or under one object will starts moving i am taking here one of the example you are consider another one example here it is a i am considering it is the surface of the land or it is a surface of the tiles here i am considering it is a surface of the tiles it i am considering this is the surface of the marble what happens why the speed of the marble will be decreases here the zigzag the zigzag surface which is present on the surface that opposes the motion movement of the surface on this isn't it it can acquire because these zigzag surfaces are get attached that will be locked by the surface which is present on the earth surface or the surface which is present on the tiles this zigzag surface when it is starts to moving that will be locked by this zigzag surfaces that's why the speed of the object will be decreases here so that's why we can see the we can feel the frictional force here you have to remember so if there is a no friction there is a no motion you have to remember if there is a no friction no motion will be stopped you have to remember here so this friction if 
the friction is due to the uneven surface uneven surface every surface it is not even here every surface which you are going to consider the every surface of any material that it was somewhat uneven due to uneven surfaces we are going to see some of the frictional force here so that's why when the marble moves on the surface it covers due to the sum of the force it can moves it can moves it can overcome the frictional force experienced by the land for example i am consider the marble moves about 10 meter after 10 meter it comes to rest what happen the force which you are going to apply to the marble that will overcome the frictional force which will acted on the marble for example what i am going to say here is why the marble moves here because why the marble moves even though this zigzag surface because the force which you are going to apply to the marble it can it, it can it has the capacity to overcome the 10 meter distance 10 meter frictional force opposed by the surface but after 10 minute after 10 meter the force which you are going to give which you are going to apply that marble will decreases due to the opposite frictional force therefore these uneven surfaces which are present in the both conditions when it is present on the surface and also uneven surface which is present on the marble one at a one end they are get locked at a one surface i am considering here this will be get locked like that if it is get locked then at that that position the marble is going to be rest isn't it so the frictional force it is due to the uneven surface here we are going to walking with the help of the frictional force if the no frictional force is present it is very difficult to walk here you have to remember why why it is very easy to walk because the surface is not here regular it is not seem to be very similar it is uneven therefore we are walking what happens when we are going to step out so the some amount of the frictional force which we are going to experience experienced by us isn't it because the uneven surfaces are going to be our our feet is going to be attached fixed or attached to the uneven cuttings of the surfaces and we are going to apply some of the opposite force to the surface to move from one one steps to other steps and also i am considering i am writing on the board the it also works on the frictional force how it is possible the one question arises in your mind because some of the uneven surfaces some of the uneven cuttings are present on the board when i am going to write with the chalk piece chalk piece is also has a uneven surface so when i am going to write on that board what happens some amount of the powder which is present in the chalk piece that will be get attached that will be get attached to the text to the blackboard and that can be seen with that can we are going to see as a letters here isn't it so this uneven surface is present on the board when i am going to write with the chalk piece some amount of the chalk powder will be get attached because that chalk powder doesn't has the capacity that doesn't has the energy to overcome the frictional force will be opposed by the blackboard therefore that powder will be get attached to the blackboard that can we are going to see as a letters here so everything i, I am talking here due to the frictional force how it is possible it can be done with the sum of the frictions air friction which is present in our tongue isn't it so the everything which with the moment of everything which happens on the earth it is due to the friction here so if there is a no friction if there is a moment of the object is present that moment of the object cannot be controlled without the friction i am taking another one example here you imagine that you are present in a car you are present in a car the driver wants to stop the car the moving car what happens he is going to apply the brake 
what happen in the condition of the when he is going to apply the brake or imagine you are riding a bicycle so if suddenly you want to stop the bicycle what you are going to do you are going to apply the brake when you are going to apply the brake what happens here the brake rods or the brake rubbers which are present attached to the cycle wheels are somewhat a distance but when you are going to apply the brake that rubbers which are present in the brakes are get attached are get attached to the moving wheel isn't it so that will that will apply some opposite force to the moving wheel here that applies some opposite force move the some opposite force to the moving wheel so as i told already the opposite force experienced by them any moving particle here the moving particle it is nothing but the wheel so opposite force it is nothing but the the opposite force will be experienced or uh, exerted by the rubbers of the brake so therefore due to the friction it is nothing but the frictional force so due to the frictional force the moving car will decreases its speed and it, that can be come to rest at a one end and also you have to remember the wheels of the the wheels of the any vehicle are also moved due to the friction here why because you are going to see the wheels of any cycle any bicycle or any vehicle vehicle they are not the surface of the wheels are not even here they are also uneven if they are even there is a no we are we are not going to experience the motion here what happens see here if the surface is also even if the surface is also even if the wheel is also the surface of the wheel is also even what happens there is a no moment we are going to see why because the wheel continuously slides at a single position the wheels continuously slides at a single position if the surface is uneven if the surface is uneven and also the surface of the wheel is also uneven what happens the force which we are going to apply on the wheel that will be push the force will be experienced by the uneven surface that is a frictional force and that condition only the wheel will be moves here so the when we are going to con consider the motion of any body there will be a friction is present so as we study about the friction how we are going to experience the friction how we, in which condition we are going to see the friction but what are the conditions are the what are the factors affecting the friction here as i told already the surface of the material which it is most it is the first condition if the surface of the if you have to remember here if the surface is more uneven more frictional force is produced and in that condition also there is a decrease in the motion of the object so we need a friction in a required quantity if the friction is more so anything it is more that is not good for everything so if the friction it is more in that condition also the speed of an object or the motion of the object decreases you have to remember the friction it, it it will be cause it will be depends on the first factor that is nothing but the nature of the surface and second one the speed of the object as the speed of the object increases the fric friction experienced by the object it is also increases here you have to remember as the speed of the object increases friction experienced by the body increases here two conditions are present the friction experienced by the fluid friction or we are going to consider the fluid friction it is nothing but friction by the air or friction by the water increases but the friction by the surface which it is moving will be decreases due to the speed of the motion as the speed of the motion increases the, the friction experienced by the object will be decreases why because so i am we are going to see here in the the uneven cuttings of the surface is present all over the surface but even though the marble moves very fast at the starting point why it is moves at the why it is moves very fast at the starting point because it has a great force to overcome the frictional force experienced by the surface therefore the speed of the object it is also one of the factor which controls the friction and also weight of the object 
as the weight of the object increases we are going to see the frictional force experienced by the object increases as the weight of the object decreases the frictional force experienced by the object decreases see these are the three factors which we are going to consider when we are going to consider a frictional force but i am taking one example here so see here you have to push a large table on a surface imagine that a large wooden box is present a large wooden box is present it has a somewhat weight about 50 kg i am considering see here this is an wooden box which is present on the earth surface so you are trying to push that wooden box with uh, some amount of the energy at the starting point it doesn't move towards it because when you are going to apply so he, if you have, first you have to consider here the box is not moving why because it has the force here it has the first position force and also the force experienced by the land the force due to the weight will be in the, this direction and force experienced by the normal force by the earth surface the normal force it will be in this direction therefore this is the position force that is force experienced by the weight of the object the you are going to place a box on a earth surface the box is not moving it will be at a static position why it will be at a static position because the force the when you are going to place a large box on the earth surface we are going to see two forces here one it is a weight the box has somewhat weight that is weight force and another one it is a normal force as we seen already the any object which the object if you are going to apply some force you can definitely get the same amount of the force back so when the when the box will apply some force to the surface it can get back a normal force equal to the applied force therefore the weight force and a normal force if you are going to see the weight force minus normal force f minus f that is equal to zero therefore the box is not moving here but when you are going to apply some force on this direction what happens so i am considering i am applying some amount of force to the box in this direction here the forces are equal therefore the box is not moving but i am i am applying some external force to the box in this condition what happens here so in your mind you are thinking that the box is somewhat moving but the box is not moving here why the box is not moving because the frictional force is not it is larger than the force you are going to apply here again in a second condition you are going to apply about i am considering about a 2 newton of the force in that condition also when you are going to apply a 2 newton of the force to the box the box will experience about a 2 newton of the frictional opposite force therefore in that condition also the box will doesn't move here but when you are going to increase again the force about a 2.1 newton the box will starts to move here why because the frictional force experienced by the object is lesser than the force which we are going to apply here therefore the box starts to move the force which require to move a static object at the starting point a force required to move a static object this is the box is at a static object static means it is a constant object the force required i am taking 2.1 newton as an example here the uh, are, i am applying 2.1 newton then only it moves the it changes its position from the starting point so the force required to move a static object from its static position it is called it as a the required force it is called it as a static frictional force you have to remember here what is static friction the static friction it is nothing but the opposite force experienced when the when any object will be starts to move 
if i am going to move if i am try to move an object i am getting experience some opposite force that opposite force the amount of the opposite force which i am going to experience when the when i i starts when i want to starts to move an object that force is nothing but the static frictional force what is static frictional force the force required to overcome friction at the instant of object starts moving from rest it is measure of the static friction for example i am considering here so the amount that i am considering same the object here is it required more energy or a more force to move a static object or a moving object i am considering if you are going to apply some of the force to the to move an object from one position to other position it requires more energy but imagine that a box is already moving you are applying the force before 5 minutes only it is starting at the moment but now you are going to continue to apply the force to to move the object but the required force to move the object which is present in the motion it is very less isn't it the i what i am going to tell here is the when you are going to starts to move an object from a position a imagine that the object is present at the position of a you are trying to move the object that is box from a to b here the b is about somewhat distance it is present when you are going to apply some force to newton 2.1 newton it starts moving but when it starts moving you want to you want to make the movement of the object continuous you are going to apply the force here but you have to consider here the amount of the force when you are going to starts to move an object it is a 2.1 newton but when it starts to move you are not going to apply about same 2.1 newton of the amount of the force here why because when it starts to move the the amount of the force required to move an a moving object to continue to move and a moving object it is somewhat less because the fric the starting friction it is the static friction it is more here but when you are the when the box is sliding the opposite force experienced by the box that is nothing but the sliding friction the sliding friction requires a less amount of energy therefore to move the moving or to make a movement of the box moving box continuous we required a less amount of energy so the energy which required to move an static object that is called it as the or the opposite force which is experienced to move an static object that is called it as a static friction but the energy required to move an a sliding object that is called it as the sliding friction so what is static friction the force required to overcome friction at the instant of the object starting from the rest it is measure of the static friction and the slide what is sliding friction here the force required to keep the object moving with the same speed it is measure of the sliding friction so don't get confusion about the static friction and the sliding friction so simply the static friction it is nothing but the force required to move the force required to move a static object when it is at the rest it is a static friction and the sliding friction it is nothing but the force required to move a moving object in the continuous path that is nothing but the sliding friction here i am considering another one friction that is nothing but the rolling friction so the con comparatively the static friction requires some more force the static friction is more than the sliding friction here isn't it but comparatively sliding friction the rolling friction it is very less so the static friction is requires more force or the static friction is greater than the sliding friction and also rolling friction and rolling friction it is very less than the sliding friction and the static friction what is rolling friction i have, i have to give one example if you are going to see in a, a saw saw industry that is saw dust which we are going to the saw industry it is nothing but we are going to cut down the wood pieces big trees and we can we we can utilize that wood pieces to our homes or any other works in that industry you can see the big 
wooden pieces are present the heavy wooden pieces are present it can't be carried by the human beings because the weight of that wooden pieces are very large but even though they are very weighted even though the person doesn't has the capacity to carry that wooden pieces but with the help of the sum of the object only 2 to 3 persons are going to be moved or carried that wooden pieces how it is possible what they are going to do if you are going to observe very carefully in that industries they are going to utilize one machine here the machine which has the wheels isn't it they are going to utilize a, an object such the object has a wheels here isn't it like that the object is present like that wheels in in this they have they are going to put the the big wooden piece and with the help of the rope they are going to carry the wooden so how it is possible to carry that wooden if they are going to carry without this wheels what happens it required very large amount of the force because the force experienced by the wood due to the friction produced by the surface it is very large but when they are going to utilize here the wheels what happened the friction will be decreases here i am going to consider another one example arrange the pencils 3 to 4 pencils on the table arrange 3 to 4 pencil on the table like that okay and now you have to put your textbook your textbook or your notebook on it like that and you have to just to push the textbook with your fingers that's just to push the textbook with your fingers and you have to note down the position of the book how much distance it travels you have to just push the book with your fingers and note down the position of the textbook with how much distance it covers and now remove the pencils which are present below the textbook or your notebook and now you have to try to push the textbook with your finger is it covers the same distance as before in which condition you are going to get a more distance so obviously the book will travel some more distance when you are going to use the pencils here why because the pencils are act as a rollers here the rollers are nothing but the wheels the friction which you are going to see in the roller or in the wheel it is very less comparatively the surface friction that's why the books will most very the books will cover a large distance comparatively uh, without the pencils here so this is nothing but the rolling friction the rolling friction it is nothing but the rolling friction it is the friction which is experienced by the wheels it is known as the rolling friction so this is all about the static friction sliding friction and the friction and also you have to remember here the friction it is more desirable as i told already to walk to run to move vehicles to wheel to run with the wheel or to roll a wheel to roll a ball for all that purposes we need a friction here and also you have to remember here the friction is desirable in some of the conditions and a friction is non-desirable in some of the condition you have to remember first i am considering in which condition in which cases the friction is desirable as i told already for to walk for to control the speed the friction it is desirable as i told already in which condition the friction it is undesirable see here where some of the particles which are present in the vehicles they are going to be heated why they are going to be heated i am considering one activity here consider take your two palms or take your two hands just rub very fastly for a few minutes what happened here you are going to experience some heat here isn't it why the heat is produced the heat is produced due to the frictional force so in the some machines i am considering uh, for the vehicles 
isn't it or i am considering the grinder so after grinding some of the objects in the grinder what happens the grinder will be somewhat heated the jar which is, we are going to utilize it is somewhat heated why it is somewhat heated because the rubbing of the object will be done in the inside the jar the rubbing of the object what causes here the friction between the objects causes when you are going to rub your palm the friction due to the friction heat is produced in the same condition the heat will be produced in the jar but this friction it is not desirable here isn't it for example i am considering in the machines of and some motor vehicles the motor vehicles are consist of the sum of the different types of the wheels the when you are going to separate the parts of the wheel or the separate the motor machine of the motor if you are going to see some of the small wheels are present inside the basic inside the motor inside the inside the motorcycle so if the friction is present in that motorcycle so we are going to see the heat is produced due to the heat the motor will be what what can happen here the condition of the motor will be destroyed due to the frictional force or the due to the heat so it is undesirable in that all condition so to get to get the friction and to control the friction we are going to utilize some of the techniques here for example when you are going to see the tires of the bike some of the you have to clearly observe here the tires of the bike the bike tires which has only thin length or when you are going going to consider the length of the tires length of the tires or the width of the tires the the tires the bike which has the very small width tires it has very high efficiency if you are going to see very clearly in the uh, considering the bikes because so you have to check the efficiency of the bike or you, have, you are going to ask the owners of the bike that bike which has a very large width tires it has a very low efficiency means it gives very low uh, efficiency for for a liter for example it gives about a 30 to 20 to 30 kilometers per liter but when you are going to check the bikes which has the wheels with the small width that gives more efficiency why they are going to give more efficiency here so as the width of the wheel increases the friction with the land or the friction with the road of the wheel increases as the friction increases as the friction increases it needs more energy to roll isn't it as the friction of the surface increases as the friction of the wheel increases with the land it need more more force to roll as it need more force to roll it utilizes more amount of the fuel here so the efficiency bike will be decreases but when you are going to see the small width wheels which are present in the bicycle it has the more efficiency why because it utilizes the less energy to overcome the frictional force experienced by the land and it can utilize only small amount of the fuel and we can get good efficiency here so therefore the to get the friction what happens here to get the friction the wheel the bike wheels are made by the some of the trades here some of the marks and some of the cuts are present why because to get the friction if the bike is the bike wheels are very smooth if the surface of the bike wheels are very smooth it is very difficult to travel very fast or it is very difficult to roll on the surface because it will be slided here if the if the cut surfaces are present if the un uneven surfaces is not present what happens the wheel doesn't move very quickly therefore to get a good friction in a scientific manner they are going to cut they are going to and they are going to make the uh, surface of the wheel uneven here and also you are going to see the surface of your shoes or your uh, what we are going to see your sleepers it is somewhat uneven why they are be uneven because to get to easily walk to get a good walking experience and to walk very fastly they are going to make that uneven surfaces so you are going to see the effect of the friction on your shoes also for a long time if you are going to use the shoes the shoes are teared at the surfaces why they are going to tear due to the frictional force due to the frictional force the shoes are also tired here so tear here 
so the desirable desirable uh, friction it is nothing but it utilized in a walking and undesirable friction which we are going to see in some of the machines also but how we are going to control the friction here to control the friction we are going to utilize some of the materials so what are that materials the materials which are utilized to control the friction that is nothing but the lubricants for example when you are going to see in a mechanic shop they are going to utilize grease materials they are going to apply some of the grease materials to the wheels isn't it they are going to put them some of the oils the oils to the machinery parts why because to control to avoid the friction what happens when they are going to apply the grease here as i told already the surfaces of any two objects are not even here by applying lubricant we can reduce the friction what happens i am considering two surfaces here if it is one surface of any object and if it is surface of another one object to control the friction what they are going to do they are going to apply some of the oils or the lubricants if they are going to use the lubricants what happen the lubricants are going to be placed inside this uneven uneven cuttings or the uneven surfaces and make them even they are going to occupy the uneven surfaces i am considering this is a grease that grease will be comes inside the two surfaces and that make the uneven surfaces as a even and that can reduces the friction here so the substances which you are going to utilize to control the friction that's are called it as a lubricants under one very uh, familiar example which i am going to take here is you are going to utilize the powder when you are going to play carrom isn't it why you are going to use the powder here to move the to move the striker very fastly or to move the coins very fastly if there is a no powder is present it is very hard it it takes a very large amount of the force to move the coins to move the coins very quickly with a uh, very less energy we are going to utilize the powder here why the powder it will be acts as a lubricant in the carrom board or carrom playing so like that to control the friction we are going to utilize some of the lubricants that are nothing but the grease oils isn't it so that's all nothing but the lubricants and also in another one example or another one material which which decreases the friction it is nothing but the ball bearing if you are going to consider if you are going to separate the wheels you are, you are going to see some of the wheels with some of the balls are present in it round balls round steel balls are present and that can be arranged inside the two wheels that is nothing but the ball bearing this ball bearing also reduces the friction friction experienced by an object so we can see this ball bearings in the uh, rolling objects like a fan in a vehicle wheel we can see this ball bearings so this ball bearings this ball bearings reduces the friction experienced by the moving objects and these are all frictions which we are going to experience by the surfaces but also when we are going to move in the air considering i am considering aeroplane here i am considering the boat when the boat and uh, aeroplane moves in the what the when the boat moves in under the water when the aeroplane moves in the sky it also experienced some of the friction which friction it is going to be experienced when i am considering aeroplane when aeroplane moves in the air it experiences somewhat opposite force by the air isn't it for example you are riding a bicycle if i am considering imagine that you are riding bicycle suddenly a strong air will be blows opposite to the direction of motion of your cycle what happens it is very difficult to move, go with the same speed opposite to the air so that that is nothing but the frictional force experienced by the air here in that similar fashion the aeroplanes are also experienced some of the frictional force isn't it the boats are also experienced some of the frictional force the frictional force experienced by the gases and the liquids are called it as a fluid friction 
the friction frictional force experienced by the air gases and by the liquids it is called it as a fluid friction but you have to remember to overcome the fluid friction we are going to consider we are going to make some of the changes in the shapes so this fluid friction mainly depends on the one it is shape of the object fluid friction it is mainly dependent on the shape of the object and another one it is it is mainly dependent on the speed of the object it is mainly dependent on the speed of the object as the speed of the object increases the frictional force experienced by the gases the frictional force experienced by the liquids it is also in increases so to overcome this frictional force what they are going to do here is so when you are going to see the structure of the aeroplane what happens imagine that if aeroplane has a, a flat structure a plate like structure is it possible to fly why it is not possible to fly why because it experience a large amount of the force by the air here isn't it if it is a plate like structure if the aeroplane has a plate like plate like structure if aeroplane has a bus like structure it is very easy to fly no it is very difficult to fly but you have to consider here aeroplane it is just like uh, just like a uh, aeroplane has a structure which is just like a bird isn't it it is just like a bird so birds are fly very easily in the air so they are going to change the structure with the help of the nature in nature we are going to see the one of the bird eagle eagle flies very easily in a higher sky because it doesn't experience the opposite force experienced by the air due to the structure of the bird so the scientists are going to be the taken the structure are going to adopt the structure of the bird to make a aeroplane here and it that the force that frictional force very easily get that can be get avoided and also in the case of the boat also boat also it is made with the adaptations of the structure just like the fishes fishes moves very easily under the water but you imagine that if the boat it is not in the structure like a fishes it is very difficult to move under the water so they are going to structureized like the fishes here to avoid the frictional force experienced by the fluid so this is all about friction without friction it is very difficult to live on the earth surface so this is a wonderful phenomenon which we are going to experience on the earth surface in this session we discussed about the one of the most important concept that is nothing but the friction and this completes your most important chapter friction in next lesson we are going to continue your next lesson thank you